what makes you happy? Does the satisfaction of hard work leave a smile on your face, or are you the type of person that is more focused on progressing in society? Either way, the romantic yet comical film Amelie, directed by Jean-Pierre Junot, pardon my pronunciation, is a fantastic display of how cinematic effects add to the overall meaning of a single scene. This entire film is based off of the life of a little girl growing up in Paris around the late 1900s. However, this little girl did have not to have a normal childhood. Her, uh, no physical contact as a child due to her incredibly weird and routinely based compulsive parents uh, made her nothing but normal. And, uh, in fact, the only other children of her age that she kept in contact with was a boy from across the city. And even then, their only relationship was flashlight tag. Now, like I said, she was a pretty normal girl all up until the day that Princess Diana died. Now, in this point in the movie, she is older, and it, it's almost like something flips a switch where Amelie has a presence, or not a presence, but like a, a purpose for this world. And the rest of the movie is based around her journey to find inner happiness through the anonymous helping of others. But through those anonymous helping of others, she finally finds that one true love that sets her free from her emotionless and normalcy state. In all honesty, I was a little concerned when I found out that this movie was in French because I did not believe that I was going to be able to look at all the cinematic effects and take in the whole, you know, meaning of the movie while I was reading it in English. But boy, was I wrong. <laughs> One thing that I would love to discuss about this film was how it was shot. Like, the, this film was not shot where the camera was at a safe proximity to show you what was happening scene by scene, you know? The director used close-ups so you could really see the expressions on the character's face. He used these close-ups either directly before or directly after a scene as to show what that scene did to the character's emotions inside as well as a medium to longer length shot to show what had happened in the other parts of the characters. I believe that uh, these close-ups, you know, add something extra to the film, almost like a top layer of butter and uh, movie theater popcorn because it it, you could find some things that other mice, other well might as be lost in the film. Now, along with the technicalities of how this film was shot, Jean Pierre uses another aspect to create deeper meaning with information um, throughout what people might call normal scenes. This, this other aspect would happen to be color. Color is such a critical part in the true meaning behind a film, yet also an element of movies that gets overlooked super easily. The different color schemes throughout the important scenes can lead to the overall mood and ambience to which every event is occurring, and right off the bat you can tell color is going to be important in this film. The first minute of the film is dominated by bright light hues of yellow and springtime colors while a narrator is setting up Amelie's story. After that, the use of bright colors such as red, orange, and yellow were always present during the background of the film. However, they were just a teensy bit brighter every time Amelie was in the picture. These were colors that matched Amelie's style, and they were clear enhancement tools from the director. All these colors did was reinforce the overall uplifting tone of Amelie's presence. Every once in a while, sweet Amelie will get stuck. She will not know what to do next after she has completed a good deed. These are the times where her imagination will kick in. There are also the times where Jean-Pierre works his director magic. With examples from animating ordinary household objects, such as a lamp, there was also a part towards the end of the film where Amelie's love talks to a picture stuck on a mirror next to his bed. These animations are not just to catch the audience by surprise with a little CGI, but also a way for the director to show the conflict brewing inside of a character. Each time Amelie listens to one of the animations, it helps her with her own thoughts and tells her what to do. When Nino wakes up in the middle of the night to talk to his still Polaroid of four men, he is conversing with his inner thoughts, you know? The picture represents what the character truly desires deeper within their heart, yet they do not have the courage or ability to figure it out themselves. I could probably rant on for just, just tiny little details throughout the movie, but I think you get the picture now. You know, after, after watching this movie, it left a smile on my face, and recently going to the, the, the cinema hasn't been doing that to me. And so, from the camera angles and filming style to the matching color schemes throughout the film, it seemed as if there was always an extra element contributing to each scene's importance in the overall film. I enjoyed watching it, and I encourage you to do the same.